What's up, YouTube? So, I've had this camera in my house for like six years, and I used it once, and I never touched it again. Um, and I've been fishing for three to four years now, and I've always wanted to just document what I do, and I regret not doing this sooner. It's so simple, um, but I'll show you real quick the little mount I set up, just so I can get going here, and then uh, eventually I'll build up on this. So my boat, when I got it, had these seat mounts built in. So that's what I'm working with. You don't need that. Um, if you have anything like this, one of these quick disconnects, I got a couple ideas for you. If you've got anything you can drill into, like a wooden transom, um, I've got an idea for you. So if, in your kayak, you've got those rod mounts. I think there's a way you can work off of that for this same idea. So here we go. So my idea is basically a piece of three quarter inch PVC. Um, you can probably get this to work on any setup. So I'll, I've got this little Joby or tripod um, that I've had, but you don't need this. So it just so happens this particular one, the leg is the perfect size to fit inside a three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC. Um, really the only thing you need is this thread. Uh, pretty much all cameras, especially GoPro style cameras, have the same thread. It's a 20 by, what is it, one half? One quarter. It's a 20 by one quarter uh, thread pitch. So, so what you can do with this is you can get your PVC, cut it to whatever size it is you want or need. Um, buy a cap that goes on a three quarter inch piece of PVC buy a bolt a nut and a couple washers drill a hole right through the center of that little cap put a washer put your screw or your bolt through then on the top put a washer and then put a nut and then you'll have a little thread sticking up um, put the cap on here glue it on if you want and now you've got basically a camera mount um, the only disadvantage to that is that it's not gonna be um, it won't be on a swivel so this has a little ball on it that's the advantage to this i can tilt it down tilt it up um, if you cut your pvc to a perfect size then you may not need that um, so if you had something to screw in if you had some of those brackets um they're i don't know the term for them they're the, they're kind of like a u-shape u-shape brackets for pvc you could screw those into your transom with your with your uh pvc sticking right up secure it just like that um what I'm doing here on my boat, so I'm basically sticking this inside. And then I just had some pool noodles I happen to cut in half. I use for when I go kayaking. To, if my rod falls in the water, I can keep it afloat. So there's a little life hack for you. I zip tie it on there. But my boat's electric, so I'm not seeing super high speeds. But there we go. I've got a pretty sturdy camera mount on the back of my boat. Um, if you had one of these quick disconnect, what I, I've got here is a, a seat mount, something I'm gonna build on later in the future. Um, but basically I think a half inch PVC would fit in this. Um, and you can take that, that same concept and be able to do this quick, quick detach, quick remove seat uh, or camera mount, but just use, utilize that system. So guys, this is not rocket science. This is just some ideas. Um, add something to your kayak. You can use 45 degree bends, whatever bends, to get it out of the, the rod holder, get it straight up, and just record yourself. You learn a lot um, watching yourself fish. Your hook sets, um, you see the rod tip move, you kind of know more what to look for. Um, you also learn a lot of the pauses i say um a lot and i uh i don't know the terms for a lot of things right off the top of my head so and i also mumble so there's a lot of things you learn just watching yourself um but it's good information it's something that i have documented now i can go back and look at next fall i can see what i did this fall and build off of that hopefully i can catch more fish bigger fish um but yeah get a Get them out, use any camera. I'm using an iPhone right now. A lot of my videos are on an iPhone. Um, it's not the greatest, but it works. So 
good luck and I hope this helps you get out there, go fish. I appreciate it.